Jesus was 100% man and he was 100% God. That means you don't know God until you know Jesus. Then two, you don't know who you are until you know Jesus. He shows you, you know, the divinity of God in a man. So he shows you how to function. By natural descent, he was Israeli. And now there was a problem. There was a situation where his rights were being infringed as an Israeli citizen. To solve the problem, he just went into a higher level. He just went into a higher level. He, he went, the, the level is kingdom level. He said, go there. Catch that fish, open the mouth. Harvard will not teach you how to catch fish and open the mouth and bring out coins. They won't teach you that. So if coronavirus is attacking your finance, you better switch mode. You didn't hear what I just said now. I said you better switch mode. Switch, switch. In fact, stay perpetually in the kingdom mode. Just stay there. Just stay there. If APC wrongs your life, if PDP wrongs your life, if um, Republicans wrong your life, if Democrats wrong your life, if you are going to run your life according to the system of this world, you are doomed. God is not a Democrat. God is not a Republican. Hear this. Jesus is not a politician. You don't vote for him. As long as I vote for Jesus, you don't know who he is. He didn't come. He didn't come. He did not come. The Bible says a stone will be cut out of heaven without hands. Without hands. That means it's not a man-made system. Is it that stone? It will hit that statue. It will hit that image on its legs. And it says everything will come crashing down. What it means is Jesus did not come to operate in any system. That is why being born again, being born again is to accept that Jesus is Lord. Lord means he's king. A president and a king, they're not the same thing. He said to Pilate, Pilate asked him, he said, he said you're a king, are you one? He said, you said so. Then Pilate, Pilate, Pilate felt so good. You, you know, money and power intoxicates. You don't know whether you're humble until you have money. If you don't have money and you look like you're humble, brother, your humility is not verified. No, your humility is not verified. You don't know whether you're humble until you have power. We can't tell. Have you ever, have you ever seen someone who got some more money and became very arrogant and people say he's changed? He didn't change. His colors came out. No, his colors came out. You never can tell whether you, your character is not verified until you have money and power. Until you have money and power. Because we can't tell. You have traces of, of pride, but nobody can see it. You are bowing down like this as people are passing. Bowing down like this, we are full of pride. Nobody can see it. It's traces. All we need is we need, um, in, in chemistry, what do you call that now? Litmus test. You, you, need, you need something, you know. And the litmus test, money and power. Money and power. Look at, look at politicians. You had one who was wearing khaki. Fighting for the people, fighting for the people, fighting for the people. We know go agree. We know go agree. You think he was fighting for you? No. All of you in Nigeria, in South South Nigeria, where are the militants that were fighting for you? Where are they? Because, listen, it's, it's not them. It is the system they are operating in. It's the system they're operating in. Jesus didn't come so that he can be part of a system. He came to establish his system.